The most important thing, obviously, regarding anything you do in your life is your mindset. We're going to learn something about ourselves. We're going to learn something about how we... how you view the world. How you view the world absolutely and utterly shapes how you react to the world, how you act. In the world, how people view you, it's all down to how you view things. There's very few things in this life we actually have any control over. I've lived an extreme life, more extreme than most. I've been a multimillionaire. I've been a nobody. been uh, famous. I've been a world level athlete. I've, I've started from nothing with a point where I had to run to the gym because I didn't even have a car to get there. I've done it all. So I've, 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 I've lived a very extreme life and this is where these lessons come from. I told everyone I'm going to be world champion. Years before I even had a British title, before I even had an English title, I just started fighting. I was like, oh, I'm the next world champion. Yeah, yeah. I'm just, I just started saying it, but I said it with genuine conviction. I knew I'd do this. Good shot there from Tate. He did save what the up. second round. Oh. And what a crunching shot. You have to understand that this world, everyone constantly tells you, do not be arrogant. Do not have an ego. People will constantly tell you to not talk in a way which is full of conviction. If people do not like you to have, be arrogant and have an ego. This is the worst thing ever. Let me tell you a fact, number one facet of the G mindset. Your life is never going to be worse if you walk through the world believing you are the fucking man. You wake up, you look in the mirror and go, I'm the, I'm, a, I'm the fucking man. I am the man. There's no one on this planet who can do shit I couldn't do if I put my mind to it. I don't give a fuck how good you are at piano. If I decide to play piano, I would be better than you at piano. And I believe that. I don't just say these things, I fucking believe them. And when you go through life believing you really, really are the man, you're going to lose a few loser friends. Who cares? What you are going to gain is other people on the same path. You're going to gain other people. Think, yeah, well, I'm the fucking man too. This guy's the man. Let's make some money. That's what's going to happen. You need to start believing. You are the fucking man. Even if you're not the man yet, even before I was world champion, I knew I was going to be the man. So I don't give a fuck. And I was happy to say that to anybody. When people called me arrogant and stupid and deluded, I just sit there and look at them and say, yeah, fuck you. I'm going to be the man. G mindset. First thing you have to believe you're the fucking man. I'm not saying you can achieve anything easily. I'm not saying it's not going to take a whole bunch of work. I'm not saying it's going to happen quickly. But you have to believe you can achieve anything. I'll tell you something now. I don't give a fuck if it's being an astronaut. I don't care about climbing Mount Everest. You give me enough time to train, I will get it done. I know that for a fact because I know who I am as a man. You need to be perspicacious. You need to understand that in this world, there's a whole bunch of people doing amazing shit that you are not doing. And that needs to piss you off. Because it pisses you off, you become motivated all of a sudden. I was the only one who was pissed off when that Aston Martin was next to me and I had my sales job. I was the only one who was pissed off when I saw that Ferrari drive past. Other people were not annoyed by it. And they're not annoyed by it. They're not driven to be it. You understand? They're not driven to be where that person was. I'm telling you to be angry. Anger is a fantastic force. You're a fucking man. You're a full-grown man. It's perfectly fine for you to be pissed off. It's perfectly fine for you to look around at your life, look at the girl you're fucking, look at the house you live in, look at the car you drive, and get pissed off and go, you know what, I want a hotter bitch. I want a fucking nicer house. I want a faster car. There's nothing wrong if you take that anger and you direct it in the correct direction. This is the reason I stopped fighting. People go, why do you stop fighting? It's because I fought and I went through hell to get everything I now have. I had nothing when I fought. I had nothing. And I wanted the life I now have. Now I wake up in one of my three mansions with one of my seven supercars and one of my 15 women. What do I need to fight for? Like, people have different motivations for different things. There's some fighters out there who fight for other reasons, you know? But my motivation is I was pissed off at the world. Look around you. You don't own the home you're in, get pissed off. 
If they're at Ferrari on your drive, get pissed off. If you don't have 10 Playboy Bunny level beauties, get pissed off. You need to sit there and realize, whoa, whoa, whoa. I have a few years of consciousness, and even less than that, I have a few short years as a young man. Because age will damage you. If you're a millionaire in your 60s, it's not nearly as good as being a millionaire at my age. You need to realize you've got a few short years as a young man, you're fucking wasting it. You need to sit there and go, fuck, shit, get angry. Because getting angry, forced, directed anger is an extremely powerful force. Nobody, absolutely nobody, gives a fuck about you as much as you're going to have to give a fuck. Nobody cares about you as much as they need to care to fix your life. You are never going to have any of the things you want if you do not get them yourself. The only person who gives a shit about your life truly is you. And if you don't give a shit, then you're fucked. I have to understand you're out here alone, absolutely alone. And when you understand these three things, you start to see how a mindset comes together. Nobody's going to save you. It's fucked. It's totally down to you. You're pissed off with your current situation. And you want to change it. Plus, you believe you can do absolutely anything. This is how I thought at 18 years old. This is how I achieved so much in the short years. This is how I went from a nobody to a world level athlete and a multimillionaire. Because at a very young age, when I had my prime resource of energy and power at 18, 19 years old, I understood those three tenets. I believe I can do it. I'm pissed off I don't have the And nobody else is going to give it to me. These are three things you need to understand. If any one of these elements is missing, you'll never have the right mindset. The G mindset will never formulate if any one of these elements is missing. All three are absolutely essential. And the sooner you get your act right, the sooner you start to panic and worry and be concerned that you're 24, 25, you're not fucking rich yet. These 24 and 25 year olds out there, you know, multimillionaires fucking the hot models. These Instagram girls with 3 million followers, they're getting dicked by some. Thanks for watching. Check the the description down below to enter a free giveaway and claim some free gifts. If you want to make money with YouTube, then also check the description. Make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next.